Hello everybody, this is Adam and uh, today I got Cinema 4D, to, 4D tutorial for you and uh, this gun is gonna be in English so I hope my uh, Polish followers they're gonna understand but uh, as um, YouTube followers uh, suggest me that I should record this in English I'm applying for the uh, for your suggestion and uh, here we go this is uh, in English tutorial how to uh, cover like make a shell covering an object you know it's like a it's something some effect like this so just take a look it's a shell it's building up and it is, uh, can cover like object inside the letter P whatever it is so let's uh, jump to the cinema and let's see how it's done let's begin so we are in cinema and um, let's uh, add uh, First make a shape, okay? I'm gonna make a text and I'm gonna put the letter P like I make a middle, change the font uh, or whatever headline and uh, make an extrude I push on the keyboard just to see like uh, how close this thing is uh, Okay, I'm gonna create a cap very small one, which is mean uh, that's a 1 and 2 the same in the back or front 1 and 2, here we go uh, and uh, I'm gonna push NB on the keyboard so I can see like uh, how the uh, letters go into like how it looks the, the 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 shape. I'm gonna make a subdivision of ten over here. I go to the caps. I'm gonna type change to quadrangles, regular grid like uh, and five, maybe even three. So it's kind of like uh, like uh, close to this uh, side shape. And we're gonna go to the to the spline thing and we're gonna change like adaptive to subdivided so our our geometry is a little bit better visible and uh, this is what we what we got so this is the 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 letter so i'm gonna push the c on the keyboard and uh, open everything here and uh, push the right and connect object object and delete i'm gonna also delete those stacks and this one this shape is gonna be like outside outside shape i'm gonna push the control on the keyboard and uh, duplicate this one is gonna be inside Okay, so basically what we what we're trying to do it's like one object like uh, going up and trying to reveal the second one. So I'm gonna use the sphere. Okay, I'm gonna make sure the sphere is uh, inside the letter, and I'm gonna put the segment 50 for now and uh, type change to I so hydron blue crazy name. And I have to deform that thing in the beginning. So it's a uh, more interesting uh, stuff going on here. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use just simple displace deformer and put the chart of the sphere. In displacer, in the shading tab, I'm going for noise. And uh, in, I'm going inside the noise and put the animation speed 0.3 or whatever. I push play, It's uh, you see, it's moving a little bit so it's gonna give us the organic movement a little bit more. So now I push, uh, like uh, select the sphere, I go to the frame zero, I push the keyframe here and then I'm gonna go uh, up with the frames and move the sphere up and uh, give the keyframe so when the line is coming that's mean the animation so basically I'm trying to do the animation going like revealing from up from top uh, from bottom to top okay so this is the this is the, the my uh, way of doing the, the animation I'm gonna hide the sphere not visible in the render and the viewport and now I need to make a uh, interact those two uh, sphere with with the outside uh, shape that can be revealed. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the use the bool object, and we're gonna get the uh, sphere and the outside object right here. And then we push the play, and we should see something like this. You see, this is the wave. So we we go to the bool object. Uh, we hide new edges and then you see this is revealed how it's gonna be this is how it's gonna be built so basically what we need to do is uh, change uh, uh, subtract B the second one here and we need basically a thickness okay if we if we hide this one the inside one so basically you can see we got the shell very simple thing but very nice so basically you got already this effect I've been talking about but um, we need some thickness and we're gonna just go for the simulate cloth cloth surface and we're gonna get the bull inside the cloth surface and subdivision doesn't interest in us 
right now, but thickness, okay? I think 0 0.5 is kind of okay thickness if we if we want to see how it's uh, the thing is built. So basically this this is this is the FX, okay? So and if you want to get the inside thing, cover this when we uh, push the ambient occlusion, you can see this one level it's covering second one. So if we're gonna get uh, two colors like uh, outside, let's say uh, this white and inside is just black, okay? Whatever red. So this can change uh, the layers. So if you got the ice cream, whatever that the layers can be. So shit, that's covering the layers and. The all simulation, if we're gonna like uh, turn uh, off bull and make the sphere visible, that's this 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 sphere basically the shape of uh, revealing is up to this uh, this 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 place of the formation. And if we're gonna uh, change over here to something like this, and we're gonna get the bull, you see this is the the line how it's gonna come. So you can use whatever you want. Of course, you can make the in the sphere more segments. And it's gonna be more smooth if we're gonna change also this one to 10 or like minus 10, whatever you see. This this is how changing us the so uh, the changing the the shape of the animation. So changing the sphere shape is gonna change the reveal of our text. Okay, and of course in the displacer you can change the shading nodes uh, to different types, and it's gonna be different. And uh, global scale you can change. It's gonna be different. So each animation, like each uh, change is here, it's really, really different. If you want this uh, coming from the, some other side, or like uh, another way, you just doing the, just uh, moving the, the sphere a different way. You just get here, or you go to the side, whatever you want. The animation is like this, or oh, depends how you want it. But I did from top to bottom, from bottom to top, sorry. And if I just say like, uh, if I turn off the inside one, and the sphere visible here that's a really cool layer shell layer uh, coming up and building our letter I never see tutorial like this so I hope you enjoy it and uh, thank you for all the subscribers and um, I'm gonna try this recording more in English I promise because I know you understand a little bit more but uh, feel free to drop a comment if you like or if you dislike I don't care it's really cool like when you just say suggestions so for me it's a feedback and that's a very very important thing in the in the community like if you like it or if you do if you don't like it i know my english is not perfect but it's easy to understand and if not just uh, follow my uh, polish tutorials and uh, i promise you uh, maybe in holiday it's going to be a little bit less because i got different stuff to do not only uh, graphic design but uh, after the uh, summer i'm coming back hard i'm going to try to buy new equipment so it's going to be more uh, tutorials, faster tutorials, uh, need a good machine for the rendering, but uh, that's that's what's coming, and I'm gonna try to get the more tutorials, like original tutorials, which has never been seen before, so I hope you like it as well, and uh, today, that's the effect, I hope to see some of your jobs, of renders, like what you do, and that's it, this is how you make a shell covering an object or building an object the way you want it, boom, ta-da! Thanks for today. This is Adam from pyrograph.pl. Take care. See you soon. Bye.